Good afternoon everyone and welcome again to Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today we are going to investigate the 2019 external paper of tables, equation and graph at the NTA level 1 math paper. Let's go. Okay, the first question, uh, before we go, we are going to look at three achieved questions, three, two merit questions and two excellence questions. And if you can manage to do all of them, then you should be able to get excellent in this paper. Okay, the first question is, find the equation of this straight line graph. Okay, the equation of a straight line graph has this formula y equals to mx plus c. So your job is to find the value of m, which is the gradient, m is the gradient, and c is the y-intercept. Y-intercept means where the line cuts the graph. So very simple, the line cuts at this point here, and it cuts at negative 5, so your c equals to negative 5. To get your gradient, if the, if the gradient is the change in y over change in x, also called the rise over the run. To get the rise over the run, you have to make a triangle in the graph. So what you do, we're going to, this is a good point here, uh, the whole number, x and y a whole number, uh, normally I use here, but this is not the whole number, so I'll go to the next point, which is here. That point is a whole number, is minus 2 and 1 for y, and then we are going to draw a triangle. Okay, so the triangle, so what are we going to do? We are going to circle the area here, and we are going to find the right. So minus 5 to 1, the right is 5, and from 0 to negative 2, the run is 2. So the right over run is going to be 6 is the right, and 2 is the run. We can simplify that as 3. And the last thing you know whether you, if from left to right, if you, from the left to the right, is the graph going up or going down, it is actually going down. So that will give you a negative gradient. So the final answer is going to be y equals to negative, because it's a negative gradient. Uh, the gradient is 3, so 3x plus negative 5, or simplified minus 3x minus 5, and that is an achieve. The next achieve question is to find the equation of this quadratic graph. First thing, there are two ways of doing it. I would prefer this way. You look at this point here, the low minimum point. That minimum point is actually negative 2, negative 4. So the general equation for that graph is going to be y equals to a, the scale factor we're going to find later, x, because it is a move to the, right, move to the left to become a plus 2 squared, and it's gone down 4, is minus 4. Okay, now the next step is to find the value of A, also called the scale factor. The scale factor is found by substitution the x and y value into the equation. You can find any point on the graph. I would like this point because it's the easiest point. That point is 0, 0. Your x is 0, your y is 0. Now we're going to substitute that x and y value into that equation to get the value of a. So instead of y, you're going to replace with 0. a is what you're going to find, so a remain. Instead of x, it's going to be 0, 0 plus 2 squared. It's going to be 2 squared minus 4. We're going to swap the equation around. So square it, so 4a minus 4 equal to 0. And you solve algebraically, you plus 4 on both sides, 4a equal to 4, and divide by 4, a equal to 1. Once you have that equation, put back that scale factor into the equation, so the equation is y equal to 1, x plus 2 squared minus 4, and that will give you your second achieve in this paper. Okay, the next thing is they ask you, what happens if the graph is moved 3 units to the left and downwards 4? So from this minimum point, you are going to move 3 units to the left. So from here, you move 1, 2, 3, and then you are going down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that will be your point. Then your graph is going to look something like that. And then they say it reflected across the x-axis, the mirror. So you're going to reflect if minus 8, it will go up to 8. And the x is still 5. And it's going to be negative 
positive A. And that graph is going to look an N shape instead of U shape because it reflected across the X axis. So the new equation is very simple. It's going to be Y. The scale factor remains the same because the, the, the slimness of the graph does not change. So the scale factor remains the same. Now, instead of you move 5 to the left, your equation is going to be X plus 5 squared. And it's gone up 8 plus 8. And that is an excellent. Okay, we shall now do question 2. Question 2, I've done most of the work, so we just have to look at it again. So, first, you are supposed to find, to draw y equal to 3 to the power of x plus 2. This is an exponential graph, so I shall show you how to calculate 0, 1, 2, and the rest you can put in a calculator. So, for 0, you substitute 0 in here, so it's going to be 3 to the power of 0 plus 2. 3 to the power of 0 is 1 plus 2, that will give you a 3. Similarly, if x is 1, so y equal to 3 power 1 is 3, plus 2 is going to give you 5. And then if it is a 2, 3 squared is going to be 9, plus 2, that will be 11. Once you have the point, you are going to plot that point onto the graph. So for example, 0, 3 is going to be here, 0, x, 0, y, 3, 1, 5, 2, 11, 3, 29, 483 and similarly minus 1 is going to be 2.333 minus 2 is going to be 2.111 and minus 3 is going to be 0, 2.037 once you have done that draw that graph and that will give you a merit in this paper not too bad eh okay we shall now proceed to find the next part you are going to monitor to find the equation of the graph. So before we do that, you need to know that in a code in an exponential graph, y equals to ax, no matter what any value, it will always cut the point one zero. For example, if x is zero, no matter what number of a, any number to the power of zero, so y will always be one. So that point will be one. So in this case, they say that x is 0, y is 4. There's only one way to do it. So you need to multiply, because to make it from 1 to 4, you need to multiply that equation, y equal to 4, multiply by ax. Okay, so now we are going to find what is the value of this a. So no, we don't do a, we use k, because there's an a there, so it gets confusing, okay? So we're going to put y, equals to 4 times k power x. Okay, this is your x, this is your y. So instead of y, we're going to replace with the area. Instead of the x, we are going to replace with days. And k is just a constant, we are going to find that. To find the value of k, we need to use substitution. So if your d is 1 and your area is 8, we're going to replace. a is now replaced with 8. 4 remains, and your k is what you're going to find, so k remains, and your d equals to 1. So expand it, 8 equals to 4k, and you can confirm that k is equal to 2. So your equation is going to be, the equation is going to be area equals to 4 times 2 to the power of d. To confirm your equation is right, we substitute in another equation. So if your area is 16, 4 times 2 to the power of 2, that is equal to 16. So that equation is right, and that is another merit. Okay, good. We are looking at the last question. The last question is uh, to draw the graph. So to do that, we have to look at the question again. So the question say, Kita has $70 saved when he get a part-time job after school and a, in the weekend to save some money. She earns $30 per week from a part-time job and receives her pay at the end of the week. So you are going to the graph. So at the start, he got $70. And then at the start of the first week when she works, she's going to get additional $30. So you're going to jump $30 and jump $30 for four different weeks and it will end over here. If you can draw that, that is an achieve. 
Then the next story comes in, and the say, the say, it says that after four weeks, Kita broke her leg. So after after a total of three weeks, so from here is the last week day of work. She going to not work for another three weeks. So that's why her salary still remain at one hundred and ninety dollars. Then at the end of it, she's able to work more hours. And this time she's going to earn sixty dollars. So you're going to jump sixty dollars each time from hundred ninety. You're going to jump to two fifty for per week and another sixty dollars per week. Sixty dollars, sixty dollars until you reach the end. And that is how you do the graph. And that is an excellence. So technically, we have done two excellence question, two merit question, and three achieve question. If you work hard and you keep on practicing. You should be able to get excellent in this paper. Thank you for watching and happy studying. Bye bye.